everyone, uh, Shane Nordy, uh, coming out of here, uh, Pio Kachim land, um, down here in uh, Southern California. Uh, like I said, uh, founder, uh, spiritual leader here at uh, Church of Evil, Fort Creator Mother Earth. And, uh, you know, just happy to be a part of, you know, Decriminalized Nature Oakland team. And uh, I just wanted to give just a little, a little uh, story here real quick, just about how the church was founded. So, um, you know, in 2018, you know, I lost my father to uh, cancer and, uh, you know, went through the whole, um, you know, the whole colonization of like what was pressed on us through the church you know the belief systems and how we we take care of our dead when they pass and so um you know i went through that whole uh, that whole you know the constructs of going to the church and going through their process of the things and uh you know i didn't feel healing you know and i didn't feel any uh, any real like peace you know with that my, my father's passing so uh, i had um through my work you know i've um, traveled throughout the country i've helped fight you know with many native fights throughout the country my brothers and sisters you know for for our lands and our rights, you know, as people to be here. And uh, within that time, I came across my brothers in Oklahoma who, um, you know, part of NAC, you know, they work with um, peyote as a sacrament of healing. And I just let them know, you know, I just my father passed, you know, and I, I needed to have a ceremony, you know, I, need, I needed to heal because uh, I don't feel good. You know, I, I wasn't feeling myself after the past of my father. So, um, you know, they came down and we set everything up. You know, we ended up setting up a lodge and we ended up praying. And, um, you know, I came to good terms, beautiful terms, the past, my father, good, good healing, you know, good, uh, good, uh, like I said, a good, a good sense of the truth of how things went, you know, there was passing without having to be angry or, you know, lost within things like that, you know, so, but at that moment, I realized, you know, this this spot right here, it needs to be not only for myself and family, but, but people need to come experience this healing, you know, because this land is, this land is powerful, this land is healing. So a little fast forward, you know, I end up getting involved with, um, uh, my mother talking a little bit about her stories about like what I've been through. And um, she ended up taking me up to our, our mountain, which is, you know, where our, our women would have their puberty rights ceremonies and they would, they would paint on the, on the rock, what they would see during their visions and whatnot. And um, this was on one of our rocks. I don't know if you guys can all see it, um, but you know, there's, there's mushrooms and it shows the ocean because originally we're not a, we're not from here. When the world flooded, we, we caught the San Luis Rey down from Oceanside up here to survive out the flood. But anyways, back to what my mother was saying, you know, she's expressing about how our people have always used these medicines and uh, we use them to combat evil, to heal sickness, you know, to get rid of things that, that we didn't need for ourselves here to have a good time here on this earth while we had it. And uh, so I, so right there that gave me hope, you know, and understanding because doing the work, you know, we're praying and healing with this medicine, um, you know, I started to realize, you know, why, why was this happening this way? You know, why things were in this, in this form, you know, in this manner. So that, that pretty much concluded to me why it was happening. And then fast forward a little more, you know, get more involved with my community. And I talked to our last medicine man who, um, was the last keeper of the Wampkish because like I said, you know, the church banned it, deemed it illegal in the government. So we couldn't practice our ways. And then I ended up getting involved with him and expressed to him, you know, how the lodge went through, how I healed through peyote. And uh, he's like, you know, that's your Wonkish, you know, that, that's our, that's our big house. You know, that's, that's where we pray. That's where we healed. You know, that's where our people were born. It's where people had their tributary rights. People were married. People died where we cremated because we cremated our dead. So we would do it in there or, or off close to the, to the lodge. So our whole life constructed around the Wonkish and then to get that understanding and then to come back to these old ways. Cause like I said, for me, I didn't grow up, you know, teaching them very colonized, you know, very brought up colonized ways, you know, I was raised you know, Catholic Christian went through all these, these, you know, things. And then, um, like I said, to now bring this back and to experience the healing of this, the sacred medicine and not only the medicine, but this land and creator mother earth, it was a beautiful thing. And it was empowering to, to remind myself of like, this is what my people have always had, you know, before we had the things that were impressed on us, that were forced upon us, that we assimilated into, you know, the, the, the thousands and hundreds of years of healing we had prior before the traumas and pains that we're in now. So, you know, then I said, fast forward, you know, get involved with Carlos, you know, and, and I expressed to him, you know, what we do, the work here. And uh, I said, you know, let's have a ceremony, you know, and he ended up coming down and being a part of it. And it was beautiful, you know, that we got to hands on experience, you know, go up the mountain and whatnot. And, you know, everything's been working now, beautiful. And, and like I said, fast forward a little now, you know, this past uh, weekend, you know, I had my, my relative, you know, he was a um, music recovering addict, you know, and he, he just got out of rehab. You know, and he was to come to this first time of ceremony, you know, and he was to witness it. And, you know, he's expressing about how, why can't we have more of this? You know, why, why can't our people heal? You know, he's like, I understand why your people come, you know, and I also had a, um, a former combat veteran, Navy SEAL, and he was expressing the same thing, you know, about why can't people have these forms of healing? Why can't people 
be able to come and get this this real true healing, you know, and it was beautiful to feel that. And it's beautiful to hear everyone's walks of lives and healings in this. And um, it's beautiful that we're coming together. So, you know, one thing that I hope out of this, you know, is that, you know, with things in California is that they do push for the rights for not only us as indigenous people, but for all people to have the rights to, you know, pray, heal, you know, recover from traumas, you know, addictions, whatever it may be, but it, it is, it should be our right to heal and to have natural medicines to have access for our people. And I can attest for that from my tribe of community that comes from medicine and ceremonies and that, yeah, it, it works and it heals, you know, and there's people on this call that have been here and have testified it for themselves. So um, I just want to say thank you guys again. And um, thank you again for the time.